Hi there, my name is Miguel and I've been riding this AI automation wave and a while ago I've posted this simple AI automation on LinkedIn and got a lot of traction. So basically I decided to explain you how I built it uh, and basically walk you through every single stage of this automation. This automation is basically an email inbox assistant, uh, how I use AI to basically read, categorize, filter and do actions um, to my emails depending on the category they, they fall into. Um, in the end of this video, I will also um, tell you how you can access this template so you can basically just get a plug and play uh, solution where you just change your variables and start using this automation right away. Uh, so to build this bot, uh, you need three tools. All of them have a free version. All of them are free here. So you don't need to pay any tools to get started. Um, so we basically need make, make.com, which is the automation software that I'm completely in love with. Then we need an OpenAI account and we need Airtable. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the links below so you can uh, create a free account um, and you'll be helping me uh, a bit as well. So, and basically this automation is divided in three parts. The first part is basically uh, receiving the email, reading and categorizing it. The second part is the filters based on our categories and then the actions uh, and so i'm gonna guide you through all these uh, different steps to explain what's happening and where so basically in this first um first module uh ah, by the way this is built on gmail but it works with any email provider um so basically this first this first module will basically be watching uh, new emails that arrive here it's a simple uh, it's a simple module just to clean the emails a little bit because uh, OpenAI uh, charge us based on tokens. So the bigger the prompts or the emails, uh, the more tokens we will have to to pay. It's we are using ChatGPT 3.5, which is very 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 cheap. But even then, we can if we can remove um, some clutter would be nice. So basically here we watch the emails. There's nothing special here. We just decide how many emails uh, at the time. Here we basically remove brackets, which is um, every link or any um, link or other HTML elements will be will come in brackets. So these will remove them. And here this is probably the most important part of the wall automation. Here is where we describe the categories. So Basically, we define we define variables for the prompt afterwards. So here we have category one automations, description of the category one, and then I I, I input a, a simple description, and I do this as many times as I want. So I have to give a, a description for the category. I have to give a name for the category and a description for the category. And basically, what happens here on the on the OpenAI prompt, what I basically do, if I can, I'd like to stretch this. Okay, doesn't work. Uh, so basically, here I'm using uh, ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo, and on the context, here is, where, is the important part. I'm basically going to say you are an expert virtual assistant, and your job is to simply categorize, to simply simply to categorize the emails and here i prompt the different categories so basically category one is x with the description and then i do this as many times as i want and then i say return nothing more than the category itself and on the prompt i prompt the email to which category does the following email belong so i prompt the email this is dynamic this color is basically uh, variables that come from earlier on the automation. So I prompt the email and I ask ChatGPT to which category this email belong. And basically, in in this case, so it's basically reading 10 emails and the output of every email will be something like category one is automations. In this case, admin. So basically, he will output me uh, the category based on the email itself. 
And that's uh, the first part is finished. And then we move to the second part, which is the filters, which is very, very important. So basically we want to, the filters, we basically determine what action will happen to each email. Uh, so basically in this case, we have three actions, uh, move to a different folder, draft a response or summarize the email. <laughs> and the folders, the, um, the filters, for example, if we, if we go, if we go here, if we want to move, if the email of a category X needs to be moved to a different folder, we basically want to say the condition is the prompt, the, the output of ChatGPT will contain category one. So basically in this case, uh, Category one is automations. So basically, if the output of the email contains the word automations, it will go up and it will move to a folder. In this case, it will move to the folder automations. And basically the same for the other filters. What I do here is if the output, if the output of ChatGPT contains category four, then draft response. If the output of the ChatGPT of the OpenAI module contains cat category one or two or four, then summarize the response. And very important to note that here, these are all dynamic. So basically on the categories, on this set, set multiple variables uh, module, we can input as many categories as we want. And then we'll, we'll determine here the filters, what happens to each category. Uh, and here, for example, on the draft response, I will basically input another three variables, the tone of voice, my identity, so I'm a social media marketing agency, for example, and the intent of uh, my response. So it can be, for example, let's see if I'm getting proposals and I want uh, an automatic drafted response to say, I will look into these proposals and I'll get back to you soon. So basically I would put something like uh, social media marketing agency. And here is received email. I'll get back to you shortly. <clears throat> and these three variables will be prompted in the draft response. So basically on the on the draft response module, uh, I say you are an expert virtual assistant for uh, identity, in this case, social media marketing agency. Uh, and I'm going to share with you an email, you'll draft the response, your draft must have the following intent and have the following tone of voice. Very, very simple. And it will create a draft directly on my Gmail. I just have to go there, validate and send. Uh, and on the third leg, basically summarize it, summarize the emails. Um, very, very simple. You just, you are an expert virtual, virtual assistant with vast experience in summarizing emails. I'm going to show you an email in your job is to simply summarize it. I prompt the email and it outputs the summary of the email to whatever I want. I'm, I really like uh, Airtable. So basically here I have the subject of the emails, who's from, and the summary in one liner, basically. Um, so yeah, this is basically uh, what's behind this very simple uh, AI automation. If you want this plug and play template ready just to just change your variables and be ready to use, I'll leave the link below. And if you get this template, I will also give you uh, a, the second, a second automation I've built on top of this which basically allows to manage emails with clicks. So basically on this Airtable that you also get access to, uh, we get the summary here and who's, who, who's from. And basically here we can do three actions. We can delete the emails, for example, like this. Delete, it disappears. We can draft or send the emails. So for example, let's see, let's see this email. I want the intention to be friendly goodbye. And I've, I prompt the draft 
on the next schedule automation, it will basically read there's a, a draft uh, intent and there's the intention and it will basically draft an email for me and the email will be here ready. Thanks for reaching out, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I wish you all the best in endeavors. So basically it, it drafts an email with the intent I designed it to. And I can just come here and change to whatever signature or edit the email and if it is how we like we can just press send and on the next on the next schedule run it will basically send the email email has been sent and we can basically manage emails with three clicks with delete draft or send um, on the air table so that's basically it this is a very very simple ai automation i've designed uh, I hope um, I was clear enough. If not, just leave some comments below and I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, if you like this video, drop that like and I will soon create more content like this. So stay around. See you soon.